Hey guys, it's Janina here from Lowy. So wonderful to hang out with you today and we are doing the long awaited diffuser video. So I am going to style my hair exactly the same, apply the same amount of products and then I am going to test out the four different diffusers. So we have the Shark, we have one of the silk bonnets that attaches to any hair dryer. We have a Dyson and we also have the Bellissima. Um, so watch along, see how long it takes for my hair with each of the dryers and what my review is at the end of each of them. Here's the first dryer we are going to work with today is the Bellissima. So let's get into this. Start the clock. Okay, so here we have um, the finished result of the Bellissima. Oops. Took 21 minutes to dry my hair. One of the instant feelings that I just wanna let you know that I feel with my hair is it did take a little bit longer um, and it felt like the air was a slower blow. It was quite warm, um, which you have no capacity to change the heat setting you only have a slow air and a high air but it felt like because it couldn't push a lot of volume of air through I had to keep moving my curls around a lot to try and get inside the curl clumps dry now that's not a bad thing because it's actually left my hair feeling like I've already scrunched out the crunch so there's no cast in my hair it's really lovely and soft it's actually built a lot more curl shape I think because I just had to work really slowly. So not bad, I liked it. It's just a little bit longer on my fuller hair. Ergonomically, it's lovely um, because you just hold it in your hand um, or you can hold it there. This where it goes a bit matte, it does get warm that bit because that's the diffuser cup. So it, my hand slid forward a few times. I was like, oh, that's a bit hot. So just hold the shiny bits and you're good to go. So. Thumbs up for me for the Blissima. Lovely product to work with, has left my hair feeling beautiful and looking lovely and curly. Just took that a little bit longer, but nicer to hold, very lightweight. There you have it. I am here with option two, which is our silk um, bonnet. So I have fastened, there's like a little um, toggle at the back underneath. So I fastened that. I did sneak in a few little volume clips around there just purely to help support um, my hairline and I have attached it over my Dyson. So um, let's start the box.
Okay, so here is now for the big reveal. Um, I think it's dry. It's been 18 minutes. Okay. My hair is damp on this side and dry on, on this side. Purely, I think directionally when the bonnet is on I kept trying to flick my hair around to get consistent drying anyway like it's not an atrocious result but I definitely don't have um, the fullness of my curls I'm glad I put those little volume clips in around my hairline it's definitely still wet on this side though. So I think the silk bonnet, excellent. Um, Cause you can have your hands free. You can be doing whatever you need to be doing. You could be sitting, working, um, folding, washing, that kind of thing. Um, the only issue is, is I think it's good for people with type three curls and up. I'm a type two. Um, so I prefer to see a little bit more fullness out of my curls, um, which I can't see with the um, with the silk bonnet and I spent 18 minutes drying my hair and it's not fully dry it's really quite wet on this side so that's a little disappointing but if you had fine hair that um, got fly away really quickly and blowy diffusers almost fluff your hair and your hair's curly, I think that the silk bonnet would be epic for you. Even if you've had a wrist injury, I had a client recently with um, an operation, this would be epic because all she'd have to do is slide this on um, and she could sit there and just let her curls dry. So it's not a no from me, but it's not my preference. Okay, here we have um, dry number three and we're going with the shark. I'll start the club. Okay, 15 minutes guys for the shark diffuser. Um, I liked it. One thing that I found funny is you can, watch this, increase kind of the capacity of um, the diffusing cup to kind of grab more hair. And so the only issue with that is that it caught my hair better, but then it put these, um, it blew a lot of hot air on my scalp. So that's just one uncomfortable fact. But to fit all my hair in there without it, it just didn't feel like it worked. I feel like it um, has dried my hair really well. Good timing. Like that's kind of five minutes shorter, no, six minutes shorter than the Bellissima. I could probably come in here now. Let's just unlock that. I 
and just do a little um, fluff. So yeah, really great result. Not unhappy with it um, at all. Just a slightly pitchier hair dryer. So the frequency that the sound comes out is at a higher frequency. So you may upset some people in your house. But yes, win-win from me at 15 minutes. Now I'm about to do the final hair dryer. My old faithful Dyson. So we're gonna come in and set the clocks. One sec. Here we go. Okay, so there you have it. The Dyson has come in at 13 minutes. That's epic. Things I love about the Dyson is obviously I am probably the most familiar with it. So working with it is just brainless for me. I don't have to really think. Um, I love um, the fact that the air filter is at the bottom, um, which means you never have an issue with sucking hair in at the back of the dryer. Um, I found that a little bit with the Bellissima. I love the fact that it's just lightweight, um, the cold shot functions just exactly where I need it, all that sort of thing. But I love the time. I've always felt like it was a really quick hair dryer, but until I've done this challenge and realized how significantly time saving it is, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Just to do a recap on the times that each of them came in at, we had the Bellissima diffuser came in at 21 minutes. Now, in terms of my actual love of the results, I actually love the results of the Bellissima on my hair. I felt like my curls were quite expanded because they'd been moved around so much longer. So a little less noodly, um, which sometimes takes me a day to kind of get that more lived in curl kind of look. So I quite liked that aspect. The silk bonnet took 18 minutes, but my hair was still wet. Um, I didn't have full curl structure because I wasn't obviously able to, with my wavy hair, scoop and build my curls. However, if you were somebody with naturally a lot curlier hair, silk bonnet would be an epic choice for you. Um, really great and shorter hair. Then the shark diffuser came in at 15 minutes really good great time efficiency um, but the Dyson won at 13 so there you have it I have completed the Dyson Shark Bellissima and the Silk Bonnet review I hope this has helped you feel free to drop any comments below or questions that you maybe have or concerns you have before you purchase such an investment into your curly hair routine love and hydration